this will be a video chart on ZLUS, Zealous Incorporated. Before I get started, I do want to note to please check my IRP disclaimer. Uh, with that being said, let's dig in. Uh, a monster day for this stock today. Uh, one of the more talk talked about uh, tickers uh, in the world of pennies. And the reason for the nice big run, as we can see when we get to the chart, they had news today uh, right around uh, 1045. And what they just announced is pretty much they're they're going to uh, uh, tackle their debt and get it paid down so they can get more um, working capital and so forth. I'm not going to you know break down the whole press release, but this is Yahoo. If you go to Yahoo or you know MSN, any of the financial sites, uh, you can pull this up. So I'd encourage you to uh, check out this news release, and it'll make more sense than when you go through it on why uh, the chart got such a nice reaction uh, today. So once again, um, you know just pull up any financial site. You know this is Yahoo here, but you know you can go to any of them and uh, check out this press release it's a pretty darn good one so here's the chart and as you can see uh, as the volume shows people liked that press release quite a bit and you know the price reacted very nicely to it we had some profit takers step in and uh, knock it down uh, but you know that's part of the game no problem uh, the important part was uh, you know the chart showed that with volume it will move you know sometimes you'll see charts where you'll get a huge volume day and the price barely goes up or it goes sideways or worse yet it goes down uh, not the case with this one when it got the volume it showed that the price can move and that, that's the key uh, the only way to be able to make money is if you know stocks can move up so if you know a chart gets a bunch of volume and doesn't move you know that's not good but um, you know with ZLUS uh, you know volume hits it and the price will move and that's what we want to see uh, so with this I want to just get things mapped out it actually makes a really good example too uh, for charts so let's just start off with the example what I want to point out is kind of combining chart patterns with moving averages. Uh, what we had going on here was uh, a, a downwards trend line here, but we also had an upwards trend line down at this point. So this is what we would call a symmetrical triangle. And then if you also look down here at this lower trend line, we had this purple line. That is the 50-day simple moving average. And uh, if you understand charts, you know that this is always considered an area of support. So right down here was a kind of extra special area of support because we had this trend line and we had the 50-day simple moving average. So the people that got down here, you know, this was a great entry. We came up here hovering around this trend line, but as you can see, uh, the day before uh, got above it, and then today, you know, things just took off. And for the people that had gotten down here on the break, you know, this was a lot of um, opportunity for profit. For, excuse me profit percentage wise uh, with the big move uh, so just a quick little you know chart lesson there anyways back to the chart uh, that does have something to do with it you know we got the breakout or confirmation I should say of this uh, pattern you know yesterday we did close up above the pattern but wasn't on a huge volume so you couldn't put too much confidence to that we needed some sort of confirmation uh, but that definitely came today with uh, the big volume and the price reaction so as of right now we're in you know breakout mode from this symmetrical triangle and uh, you know we'll kind of have to see where it goes now in terms of supports and resistances uh, we have a couple of them the first one being uh, that's not very straight there we go uh, right here at this previous high you can see going back uh, and I'm gonna change this to uh, you know what, I'm just gonna start over drawing this again uh, but if we go back here to pretty much early January we have this level here at 0.005 and twice here it acted as resistance two more times acted as resistance and then you can see when it was broken today you know the thing exploded up to you know 0 0.0075 so that's one of our first levels of support the next one is another uh, previous high up here and barely closed above it at uh, 0 0.0058 so what I'm going to do with this one is change it to kind of a skinnier line because yes it's a support uh, but at the same time it's not a must hold where if this one fails you know it's it's no need to panic or go uh, you know crazy or anything like that because we still do have other support levels below you uh, but yes it is technically now a support level because we closed above it and uh, resistances become supports uh, so that's what we're looking at right now in terms of resist or supports are at point oh oh or point oh oh uh, five eight and then down here at point oh oh five we also have these moving averages below us, which will act as supports. Uh, but for now, uh, you know, I think these ones should be able to hold up here. As far as resistances go, the key one now is pretty much just put in today, up here at a 0075. 
that is where uh, you know things kind of ran out of gas for the time being and with the break of that uh, you know we can map out some more but for right now I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves let's just worry about uh, if anything getting a healthy consolidation or if we get up here uh, this is a resistance and uh, with any closes above this I'll be back to update the chart and map out where our next areas of resistance are so as of right now very nice day I uh, got the confirmation of this symmetrical triangle break you know had that nice news release so uh, should be a very interesting uh, remainder of the week uh, for the stock. So we'll just have to kind of sit back and watch, but uh, if it's not on your radar, I'd uh, put it on. So if you do have any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, and with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody, and it's all free, so it's worth at least signing up and giving it a try. One more time, this was ZLUS. Thanks for listening.